with another volume of his DVD collection. Yes! I'm back, baby! And let's get back into this biatch with not a very good movie. Andre the Butcher. Yes. This movie is not that good at all. Looks good. The cover looks sweet. But it's not that good. Um, I paid three bucks for it. I think I got this at Zellers, which is becoming Target in Canada. A couple years back. Not a very good movie. Avoid. But if you can get super cheap, like a buck, a couple bucks, it's maybe worth one or two watches. Just like another one. TBGBs. Scarier than hell. Crappier than shit. Another one that I just fell short for me. I really not really enjoy this movie. It's not great. It's not a super bad movie, but it's not a good movie at all. And another one I got for like two, three bucks. It looked kind, of, look kind of cool, but not really. Movie that is freaking awesome. I got the Traumatic Edition, uh, Traumasterpiece Edition, but this is the regular edition of Redneck Zombies. This movie is fucking awesome. Sweet ass independent film. Distributed by the good people of Trauma. Yes. Backwards blood bath that will tickle your funny bone till it rip it, then rip it out. That's from Fangoria. How much to shoot? I don't know. But this movie's awesome. It's a must have. Must have, people. Not a good movie? I thought it was pretty good. Prison of the Dead. It's a low budget movie released by full, uh, the good people at Full Moon Entertainment. And you know what to expect from a Full Moon movie. They released some really awesome movies like the Ginger Band, Dead Man series, Puppet Master, and a lot more. There's a movie that needs so another movie that doesn't need any reduction. Rabbit grannies, yes, look at those grannies, they want to eat that little girl. Rabbit grannies, tribute by Troma, another must have people, awesome movie, I love this movie. And like I said, I'm not going to be going too much into the movie because there's too many other people on YouTube that do a better job at uh, reviewing the movie. And plus, there's so much information on the internet that does a, the movies more justice than I did. Here's a half decent uh, zombie movie, Feeding the Masses. It's not bad movie, it's not great. Small little independent film. The Asylum Pitcher, Death Games. It's a post apocalyptic movie. They try to say it's Mad Max for the new millennium. Um, no, Mad Max is a far superior movie. But this is a good movie on its own. Another one worth getting if you can get it at a good price. Movie that's fucking awesome. Maximum Overdrive. Yes. Maximum Overdrive. And this is the Anchor Bay DVD. Yes. 
as Emilio Estevez in it. Yes, Emilio Estevez. Living Hell, a Japanese Chainsaw Massacre. That's not a bad movie. I think I liked it. I recommend it. These movies get shown a ton on YouTube. Deranged and Motel Hell. I like to get the uncut, the, the fully uncut uh, version of Deranged. But for now, this is what I'm going to have to live with. The Midnight Movie Edition. But. Dragon. H.P. Lovecraft. Sir Gordon. Awesome, awesome, awesome movie. Sir Gordon is an awesome, underrated director. Here's a, here's a movie from a director. That is one of the best directors of all time, in my opinion. It's Takeshi Miike's Sabu. Awesome movie. Like I said, I can't do uh, these movies justice with my um, analogy of them. But this movie is a recommendation. To all movie fans, especially people who are Takeshi Miike fans. His movies just retarded me over the top. Ultra Christ. Get ready for a whole new Christ. Ultra Christ. He's back and better than ever. I think this is least worth the watch. If you get this for a good price, it's a half decent movie. The release from Troma, Jeffrey Combs, and Nightmare. Another one from Troma. Parts of the Family. Two movies of the same zombie story by two different directors. I Me, mean, pretty much all the trauma movie trauma releases are a uh, pickup. The simple eyes of Dr. Orloff. Inner Vision. Release, Jeff Franco's sleazy goodness. Um, Jeff Franco doesn't get the love by the film industry in North America as he does in his native country. I think he should be um, given something, but the uh, looking Hollywood set who give out the Oscars got their heads so far up the ass they can't see what's good. And I was going to show the, the remake of this movie, but I was like, I'll show it another uh, adi uh, update because they get shown all the time. Inglorious Bastards, the three discs explosion edition, and this crazy one. Inglorious Bastards 2, which is going to show. I'm going to continue, and then I'm going to continue that on the next video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Crystal 1969A, say thanks and cheers.